I've been trying to call you for days now. Why haven't you answered your phone or returned your calls? Oh, dear sister, I'm so sorry. My work has kept me so busy. And I just haven't had the time to get back to you. You know, I understand you're very busy, but I would think after what happened between us, you would at least call me. Now, you know we said we would never talk about that again. I thought we agreed that we would not bring that up. We did, but things have changed since then. And now we really need to talk. Now, if you're going to tell me that you love me or something, I need you to know that you're just a young girl. And you really don't know what you want. Yes, I do love you. I would not have let what happened happen if I didn't love you. But that is not what we need to talk about. I need to tell you that... Sister, sister. Love is normal. And it ends just as easy as it begins. Your feelings for me will pass. My feelings may pass, but what is going on? Sister, I really need to get to work. Can we meet some other time? I'm pregnant! That's what I've been trying to tell you. I need your help and I don't know what to do. You're pregnant? Oh, well, Natalie. Who is the father? You are! How could you ask me something like that? You are my first and only. Come now, child. That cannot be true. Well, it's true and you need to do something fast. I told my father, and there's no telling what he might do. You told your father? Why would you do that? Don't you know that man could have me killed? No. Now what do we do? I don't know, but we better do it fast. You know, I may not agree with this, but I must say this is a pretty impressive bill. Wow, the Antipas bill, just like Antipas cut the head off of John. Man, my law school professor taught me to leave a few loopholes in a bill when you write it. And otherwise, if I hadn't done that, man, there'd be another church in America again with this bill. Well, let me call the boss and let him tell him it's ready. Governor, yeah, Dunlap here. Yeah, just wanted to let you know I've got the bill ready and I can have everything sent over to you by FedEx in 20 minutes. Yes, sir, it's just as you wanted it. Yes, sir, you can hold a conference, anything you want. However, I suggest... Yes, sir. Thank you. Good evening, our top story. Governor Robert DeFranco is preparing for a news conference in which he will announce a new bill. This bill will bring sweeping new changes in the way we view churches in the United States. We're told that this bill is controversial at best. We'll bring you at the I'm told that Governor DeFranco is ready to start his news conference. We'll switch over there now. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I called you here today to announce that we'll be sending a new bill to Congress. This bill is called the Antipas Bill. It is designed to bring more accountability to churches all over the nation. It is time that we stop the power and the money from these institutes of worship. Why don't they pay taxes when you and you and every hard working man and woman in this country. Why do they have the freedom to collect money from you people and not telling you people where the money is going? I'll tell you why. Because many, many will be accountable for their Lear jets, their huge homes, their fancy jewelry. From you, your hard earned money. Now is that fair? So today is the day that we bring these places of worship to an end. And the Antipas Bill is our agent 
to end that. I will now take your questions. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Governor Franco announcing the Antipas Bill. Sounds like things are going to be changing and fast. We'll update you later with any new developments. The wickedness of man has risen up to God. He is not pleased at all what his church has become. Change now, change, or the fate of Noah shall be upon you all. Your office has become tainted, your calling has become perverted. Hear these words and hear them now. The day will come when the door will close and the people will have to see God from where they are. What will you do when this building behind me is no longer there for you? God is not in the buildings, he is not in the leaders, he is in you and he's in your heart. The church is the body of believers and not the buildings, not the leaders. Listen, listen now. You chosen me for such a task. But Lord, I'm not worthy for such a thing. I'm not worthy. Haven't I given all? From the day that I was born, you called me. I served. I gave up everything you told me to give up. But this, God, I, I can't. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. If you can use anything, God, I'll look past my fears. I'll look past my inadequacies, God. I'll look past my pain. And if you can use me, Lord, use me. Use me for your glory. When my heart that your will might be accomplished. Grant me courage. Grant me strength for the facing of this hour. I'll go. I'll do. Change now. Change or the fate.